you might be wondering why I am holding this sack. I think she's wondering why I'm holding this sack too. What do you do with naughty but nice dogs? What do we even mean by a naughty but nice dog? And actually, do you have a naughty but nice dog? Well, today I'm gonna to talk to you about naughty but nice dogs, things we can do with them, the things that help me out owning naughty but nice dogs and training naughty but nice dogs from all over the world. We have one of the biggest centers here in Oakhampton, Devon, and actually we see naughty but nice dogs just like this one all the time from herding breeds, gun dogs, you know what, you name it, we've seen it. Malamute, Great Dane, Bernie's Mountain Dog, Maltese, Cockapoo, Havapoo, Schnauzer Poo, you know what, we've seen them all. The big thing with Naughty But Nice Dogs are there are some cool, key, easy, very easily achieved secrets that you can have with your dog. So first one, why have I got this sack in my hand? So I've got some of her daily food, I'm gonna be using some of her daily food, and all I'm gonna do, nice, good, is just see if she'll start investigating. Now, how am I helping a naughty but nice dog? Well, the thing is, and you might find this quite interesting, naughty but nice dogs are actually often not that confident. I see you nodding. And they're actually often lacking in confidence. This, for me, is a confidence game. Whether my dog is on it, going under it, going in it, and I'll try this one, but we'll see how it goes. Brrr. And you can see, it might be a bit of an ask for a puppy, but we may get there. Um, it does depend, oh, that's quite a nice shot. Um, it does depend on the individual dog as to how they will find this. Sorry to give you the whole full bottom shot. Um, but this is a really great, easy win game. Now, lots of you will have a sack of some sort and it doesn't need to be a sack. You don't all have to rush out and go shopping right now. Um, you literally can use whatever's in your vicinity. Something, I'm just utilizing something that is around and available. The cool thing is we are training, I don't know if you can guess it, begins with C, ends in E. We are training confidence. Now, when we're saying confidence, what do we mean? Well, a dog who is confident is much less likely to be naughty but nice because ultimately, naughty but nice dogs often do lack that skill, that flexing that confidence muscle. So simple games, 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 games galore, in fact, that you can be doing. So grow confidence, that's my number one tip. Second one, and this is something that you can check out. I'm gonna let you carry on doing that because that's a really great way for you to, um, for you to play. Actually, you're gonna check out um, our calm videos we've got a whole series of calm videos in various different spaces including our podcast you know what within youtube we've got other things that you can be looking at we're going to link you in and we'd like you to think about the calmness triad it's something definitely that we could be growing third thing if you've got a little dog and i think this one's quite important now notice she doesn't always want you to grab her or go near her or get hold of her so if you've got a little dog teach them that actually being in proximity to you is quite a good thing dropping food in proximity and equally, if you're ever going to pick up, always pick up from feeding. So you're feeding and then you pick up. Whether you're working with a little dog or a puppy, that is, you can get that one, that is a top, top, top tip. So, tip, so I'm going to feed her and I'm going to pick her up. What I don't want her to do is become good at avoiding me. And you can see that that can happen where they start to just want to avoid you. Brrr. She says, where's those confidence games? And then up. So you can pick her up from feeding. Next one, and this is a top naughty but nice tip. Use your food. Use your food for games and make sure on a daily basis that you are translating games equal fun. Naughty but nice dogs, let's grow you in the area we want to grow you. There are so many games for naughty but nice dogs. Games that we've played with all of our boot camp students all over the world and we know that these work because ultimately it's the power of relationship, the power of reinforcement and the power of learning. Those hand in hand, excuse you, those hand in hand, they work very, very well together. Now, magic, I suppose, there's a huge magic in the calmness protocol. And I know that even when you're working with a puppy, you can have a calm puppy. Yes you can. So it's important that you're going to uh, think about the calmness protocol. Again, loads of videos here on YouTube from us on calmness and the calmness protocol, the calmness triad. I want you to check those out. They're going to help to top you up. Now, relationship on a day-to-day -day basis, you and your naughty but nice dog, you're a team. It's about you guys against the world. And together, we know you can make it. Relationship is king or queen. And what you're absolutely going to be doing is topping up 
that bank account on a daily basis. Little things like this one where she's down and I want to bring her back into me, don't go and grab her and touch her and take her away from what she's wanting to do. Scatter a few bits of food, make sure she's got some of that scattered food and then bring her up and then you could even reinforce her again yeah so you could even give her she's like oh I didn't get that much of that and um, you can reinforce her a second time for doing that so for me think about the relationship bank account don't take away from it actually what can you put into it on a day-to-day -day basis if you haven't already check out the sex in a squirrel uh, well you can check out the podcast and you can check out the course we've got a whole games-based program there lots of our naughty but nice boot campers they've started at sexy than a squirrel so you know what there's a link there for you make sure you check it out it's very very powerful and probably my last and not least uh, in any way uh, tip would be just to reinforce to all of you guys play more games they're very simple they're very easy they're very achievable you may just need something as simple as a um as a as a old sack or a dog food sack or a bin it really doesn't matter there's so many things that you can do with very very minimal equipment and if you keep checking out all of the videos that we have here on YouTube you're going to see so many different things that you and your dog get to be involved in on a daily basis so that was this episode YouTube literally we absolutely know there are games galore for you your friends your father your sister your mother your brother share it share it share it like it subscribe be involved in what we do and make sure that this gets the ripple effect that we know dog training deserves.